Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from TchCheckIt.com here with a Photoshop tutorial on Tutorial Tuesday. And guess what guys, today's tutorial is pretty sick. I came up with this kind of cool photo manipulation hipster look. It's uh, based off of an app called Mextures, and I thought some of the color correction on it was pretty sick with the scratches and everything like that, so I decided to try to recreate it within Photoshop and these are the results. So I have no idea which image I'm going to make right now. It always turns out differently which is really cool. I'm going to be including all these files for free at checkit.com slash downloads. It comes with this regular picture. This is actually from my vlogs. I just did a screen cap of when I was getting out of my car and I thought it'd make a good image for you guys to practice with. So please give the video a like guys for all my hard work and also make sure you leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And also guys, if you guys could go check out my vlogs, that'd be pretty cool. I've been having a lot of fun with it, and a lot of people think it's pretty awesome. I'll put a link in the description. You guys are going to need to use Media Militia's lens flares, which you guys can get at MediaMilitia.com. I'll put that in the description as well. And now with that, we can get started. So let's just make a new composition. I'm going to make mine 1280 by 720 because that's what size my picture is. Now I'm going to find the picture, which is just called Eli. I'm going to drag and drop it into Photoshop right about there. Click the check mark. Now I can delete this background layer just by dragging it down to the trash. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a Nashville look from Instagram. I don't know if you guys have used Instagram or not, but it's pretty awesome. And my favorite one is called Nashville. And I'm just going to create that really fast. So let's go down to these adjustment layers. First, let's create a levels adjustment. And all we're going to do is switch it from RGB to blue. And we're going to drag this little indicator right here. This is just going to make the shadows blue. I'm just going to drag it up until we get a kind of bluish look. Mine's at 90. You guys can do whatever you want. Next, what we want to do is go back down to the adjustment layers. And we want to do a solid color right here. And we want to pick a tannish color. Mine is F2DAB9. You guys can do whatever you want. And I'm going to click OK. I'm not the boss of you guys. Do what your heart tells you. Now we're going to switch the blending mode from normal to multiply and you can tell that we're starting to get that look but it's still not as cool as the original Nashville effect so let's go back down to the adjustment layers one more time go up to curves we're just gonna drag this up a little bit I'm gonna drag this down right about here and then the last one we're just gonna drag a tidbit up to brighten it up a little bit I mean it just adds a little something something kinda washes it out a little more and just makes it look more vintage Alright, so that's the Nashville effect. If you guys didn't know, it looks just like the Instagram Nashville effect. But I'm actually going to be manipulating this right now because your guys' images might be better than this. But this was taken just a screenshot from my GoPro. So it's very washed out in the background. And uh, I just turned off all the effects by clicking on these eyes. But it looks ridiculous. There's no clouds or anything. And that's also a problem in Arizona. So I'm going to manipulate this photo to have some clouds in the background. So I'm going to exit out of Photoshop. I'm going to go down and grab these clouds right here that I found on Google. They're royalty free. I'm going to drag them into Photoshop. I'm just going to size them up a lot. I'm holding shift and control while I'm sizing it up to make it perfect. All right, now I'm going to switch it from normal to multiply. And you can already tell that our clouds are looking pretty cool. But let's actually go control or command T once again. And just get the clouds where we want them. Maybe size them up just a little bit more. And you guys can uh, turn it by right clicking and going to flip horizontally because the sun is actually coming from that direction so it makes sense that the sun is hitting the body that way. Okay, I'm going to hit the check mark. And now I'm going to do a very ghetto way of doing this, but I mean, it works very well. I'm just going to use the eraser tool by hitting E, clicking on the layer, and you have to rasterize it. And we're just going to size it up and down using the brackets keys, and we're just going to erase this. You guys can always create a nice layer mask with this. But since I'm trying to conserve time because I have a lot to do today, I'm just going to, you know, erase it for right now. And to be honest, you won't even notice really any differences. And only because we're going to be manipulating this photo with uh, color correction and everything later. So it won't even, you won't notice a difference. I'm going to leave a little bit of it coming on the shoulders and stuff because it adds a lot to my body. It makes it look like it's getting kind of that uh, Dave Hill effect. It's kind of cool. So now what we want to do is we want to color correct the bottom layers. So guys, before we can add any adjustments to this picture, we need to right click and go to rasterize layer. All right, now we can go up to image, adjustments, curves. And let's start with the reds and just kind of raise the reds a little bit. 
and now higher up the greens just just in the middle and now with the blues we just want to lower them a little bit as well now we're getting a kind of yellow effect which is exactly what we want to match the background and now I'm just gonna crush everything a little bit and raise it just a tidbit as well I'm gonna hit OK and just overall our image looks a little more together now if we turn back on our Nashville effect you could tell that it's looking a lot better and more interesting really but I want to add in some light streaks because that's what really adds a lot to those hipster photos so how I like to create those light streaks that you see in these is I like to use lens flares and you guys can always create your own lens flares if you guys don't want to just go down the free media militia pack alright and I'm just gonna use the 42 from the lens flare pack from media militia there'll be a link in the description I'll drag and drop it let's size it up of course Click the check mark, drag it above the sky and clouds, and see right here. We want to add a blur to this. So let's go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just blur it until it really gets blown out. Like maybe right about there. So mine's at 16.8, okay? And now let's set it to linear dodge, which is actually add. And now we'll hit controller command T, and it, this is basically just saying that uh, your smart layer will be turned off so you'll see the original but I just want to be able to position this so I'm gonna zoom out using the scroll wheel and just size this way up and turn it right about to there okay now to come back and look at that awesome light streak we got coming in from the left and now what you could always do is duplicate this once again by just clicking and dragging it down to this create a new layer we'll go controller command T and we'll just slide it sideways holding shift so it's perfect and we can actually just drag it right about here click the check mark once again and you'll get another light streak going this way and you can always use the arrow keys to move it if you would like but I'm actually going to lower the opacity a, a little bit perfect alright so I also am including something called the quick hipster that I came up with It's just this kinda cool texture right here that you guys can add to any photo to make it look hipster I'll include that in the download link but I'm gonna just use this quick I'm gonna drag and drop it into Photoshop and I'm gonna click the check mark I'm actually gonna drag it on top of everything and now I'm just gonna go through the blending modes until I find something that makes it look pretty awesome and even right there guys that's a pretty cool effect but I'm not gonna use it All right now I'm gonna lower the opacity a little bit and something that I did in the other two versions of this was I went down to these last two layers selected them both and hit controller command E to merge them and then I just went to the blur tool which is this like teardrop looking or water droplet and I just used it to create some depth of field in the background you guys don't have to do this but I think it adds a little bit to it so I'm gonna do it again I'm just gonna size it down I'm just doing this really fast you guys should definitely spend more time on this <laughs> awesome I mean it just it makes the focus more on the subject alright awesome and now uh, this is a little too worn out for me so I'm gonna drag this down a little bit cool I added some text down here and I did a cool manipulation to it so I'm gonna hit T to bring up the text tool vlog enter your enter life and the font I'm using is called advent pro it's a free download just type it in in Google and uh, the first one I used was regular and then for your I made it Thin. that's why advent pro is so awesome because it has so many different types of boldness and then the life I left at bold perfect now I'm gonna hit controller command T size it way up and another thing guys if you guys want to edit this text in a more advanced way you guys can always go over to this character tab over here and just mess with this highlight all of this and just work with these spread it out more or maybe make your pushed in so it matches the other words better or you can always just make it closer together by pushing this right here but you guys don't have to do that I'm just giving you guys options this is a tutorial I want you guys to be able to make your own pictures look awesome alright so now what I want to do is I want to set this to overlay and then I want to right click it and rasterize it so I can use the blur tool once again to size it up first and just blur it on the edge here and then size it down and really blur it blur life a lot more too and look how cool that looks I mean it just gives it a really cool effect in the end and you guys can always mess with this some more if you'd like if you guys want to change the color completely something you guys can do is click here go to gradient 
and a very hipster gradient is this one right here, this blue or purplish to orange. We're going to hit OK and just, uh, you know, try different angles and such. I mean, I tried this angle before and it looked awesome, so I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to set it to overlay or anything, really. There's so many different ways to make this just look so hipster and awesome. I mean, look at that. that looks, even that looks cool. Just scroll through them until you find something that looks awesome. And one other thing that you guys can add to make it look more mextury, I don't even know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm going to include these three glass textures over here. I'm going to drag and drop one of these in and just size it up and set it to overlay. And it just gives it that extra hipster look. I mean, the scratch glass is just something that mextures uses a lot and I think it looks awesome. So let's actually drag that below gradient and such to give it more color perfect all right guys so thanks for watching i hope you guys learned something awesome and uh, i hope that you guys use these techniques to create some awesome photos in our touch a check it fan page there's a link below and please go check out my vlogs guys I th i've been working pretty hard on them i think they're pretty awesome so go let me know what you think there's a link in the description to the latest one i'll see you guys on the next tutorial which will be either thursday or friday i'm not sure i'm trying to make three tutorials a week for you guys every week and i'm really excited for the next tutorial because i'm going to be explaining a new software that brandon showed me i think it's pretty awesome so with that guys I'll catch you guys on the next tutorial. Peace.